This Independence Day celebration is special in that the last 16 months prove what we know to be true. What makes our country great is its people. Perhaps like no other time in history, Americans answered God's call to love and serve one another. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of those who put up with so much during this past year. The pandemic really set this city on its heels. But we had a number of individuals, particularly educators and healthcare professionals, that stood up time and time again to make sure that our city was as protected as possible. They're the true heroes. I'd like to say a big thank you to all our teachers. You've been wonderful, especially over the past year, all years, but this past year you went above and beyond the call of duty to teach the kids who are not only in your class, but in their homes, making the technology work, cleaning the, cleaning the rooms, making sure the kids are safe, and um, taking risks with yourself by being in school as much as possible. Um, we had the lowest number of absences by teachers ever, and that was in a year that uh, we had the, the most dangerous virus around ever. Thank you very much. When I reflect back on the teams that I've had the opportunity to work with over the past year, I think about the emotional and physical toll that this pandemic has had on so many. Whether it's caring for a patient who's had COVID-19 or working long hours and then going home and caring for kids and doing distance learning. This pandemic has impacted all of us. However, I also think about the positives, the teamwork, the strength, and the support that we all had for one another. I also think about how powerful the support was that we received from the community. What helped us get through the pandemic was the showings of support that we saw from our community, whether it was praying in, in the parking lot of the hospital, saying thank you to staff when you saw them out and they were wearing scrubs, or just sending a note, a text, or a letter to our, our staff saying thank you for all they were doing. So now please join me in saying thank you to our healthcare workers, our teachers, and our first responders for all that they do. And please join me as we continue to pray for each of them. Thank you.